as hard as it is to see how the world is going down, mm. especially economically and also uh, healthily, uh, when, when the pandemic hit them. But we get to see a lot of new invention mm. and uh, the stronger of the hearts of the people in local areas uh -huh. of how they treat one another. And that's something that we have been waiting for for a long time. All the walls, yeah. all the obstacles in their hearts mm. has been fallen apart. Yes, yes. And now they are ready to, to do anything new, right, including yeah. the government. Yeah. Any governments are <laughs> talking about something new. Let's do that's something right. new. Uh -huh. mm. But how do you think we can continue to build on this goodwill, this uh, sense of solidarity? Well, it's come to the human test at mm. the moment. We have never encounter anything like this before. Well, in time of war, you see rubbles here and there, and then you feel that the, the first thing you want to do is to rebuild the, the town, rebuild the family. But here, you still have everything intact. Mm -hmm. Everything looks so, so un indifferently, except that uh, the only thing that miss here is just the feeling that I'm going to be in debt. Mm. It's not about debt, it's about debt. Therefore, debt is something that people invent and say that, well, if you have debt, you're supposed to be horrible mm. to have it. Uh, but if, if all the debt can be dealt with uh, across the board, then we have food, we, ha we still have clothes, we still yeah. have roads, we have buildings to go. Uh, and family members are, are all around. It also is the part where the opportunity lend us the, uh, the chance that we get many of the young people returning to their hometown. Mm -hmm. We never have that in the last 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. And what we have been talking about, uh, the, the rural area, undeveloped, not because of the, the government didn't go, but it's just because of they don't have enough people in that generation to build themselves up. Mm. And now they are going back. So look at it on, from the brighter side. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, it's, 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 this COVID-19 has brought a very big difficulty to every city in the world. But for a lot of countryside, this is their chance. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's talk about a bit on tourism in Thailand, because as like other countries, tourism has been highly affected from the pandemic. Absolutely. So. How can we revive the tourism in Thailand so that it can welcome more tourists like once again, just like before the pandemic? Well, people travel to, to earn something rewarding their hearts. We should look at that from that perspective. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at them, at them as just a, a bag of money, mm -hmm. then I think we are looking into the wrong direction of it. And if we look at it as a business side only, then it will be a long time from now on, maybe a couple of years from now. Uh, Boeing uh, Airbus is hardly hit, and it's going to be difficult to supply whatever that needs for any plane mm. to get up in the sky again. Uh, in the United States, they've been talking about three years from, from here that the last plane from runway can take off before they can refurbish mm. everything and get ready to, to fly, even if the, the market are ready to go. So instead of looking tourism as a, a, a macroeconomic tools only, I would rather look at it as this is the time where we not only can rethink about it, but we can also reshape it. Mm. Let's talk about, instead of bringing a lot of people go place, let's talk about bring a small amount of people mm. to go to some place where they haven't experienced before. Mm. It'll be quite a good highlight for their experience. Uh, the distribution of little income mm -hmm. to little people from far, far away uh, right. will so, be very significant. So that means uh, you, you're suggesting that we should not expect to go back to the same old ways oh, no. of doing things, expecting as many as 40 million mm. Tourists to visit Thailand again yeah. in the year to come. Yeah, yeah I was trying to, put, uh, I, was, I was concerning about that when I was still in office. Uh, and, uh, oh, of course, know. you were Minister of Tourism, yeah. and one of your, your KPIs was to uh, 
uh, to have as many tourists visit Thailand as possible, right? <laughs> uh, that's what the, the KPI said, but I, I, I don't agree with that. As far as the carrying capacity is concerned, okay. we, we can have hundreds of millions if we, if we turn around with a better capacity management. But with the management that we have been doing with this kind of uh, number, it's a little overwhelming. Uh -huh. uh, therefore, I would say it as a, uh, well, let's go to community. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do the short traveling. Let's do the uh, something that may not have to spend a whole lot of money at, at one place, mm -hmm. but do a little thing here and there uh, and simmer themselves with the real culture of the people. And you think uh, with this, uh, it can make up for the revenue loss? Oh, no. The revenue that we have the had. the massive amounts of tourists. No. Oh, no. It's just uncomparable. Uh -huh. But at the moment, uh, even car companies are, are shutting down. Mm. Uh, so we can't, we can't just think back and dream about what has been happening yesterday. Mm. We have to look ahead and see what possibly can be done uh, tomorrow. And at the moment, without vaccine, or the vaccine is so expensive at the moment, uh, we can't expect a huge amount of people traveling at the same time, ever. Uh, but we can, we can chase the smile of the people by bringing them visitors. They, they, they enjoy seeing people, uh, both the guests and the host. Yeah. Uh, but if they, they would only enjoy seeing the money, mm. then nothing much one can do. Mm. So this certainly requires a big change of mindset from the top down to local Absolutely. people. Absolutely. Right. right. Well, you see that at least one third of the foreigners who come into Thailand for tourism purpose are from ASEAN country. Not too many people in the country realize that. They have been thinking about the Chinese only or the Western travelers. But basically, the largest group at the moment are the, the ASEAN people. And ASEAN people doesn't have to, more than half of the ASEAN people coming into Thailand without flying. Mm. They came in by, by car. By land, yeah. Yeah, on land. Uh, and that's maybe another part that we might want to focus on mm. and see, well, if you would follow this track, you don't get out. Uh, as often as you might have been, mm -hmm. but there are visit, visiting areas suggest that you should do, uh, then we might be able to control that better. Mm -hmm. Another group of people that we might want to look at are the people with disabilities. Oh. Mm -hmm. Beside, uh, the government is now already paying a lot of attention of bringing in people who need uh, medical attention. Uh, that's good. Mm -hmm. As long as if the people at the, at the medical service people say that this is the amount that we, we can handle. Mm -hmm. Don't bring in too, too many of them. Uh, but people with disabilities, then there are a lot of them and they have a very good saving. Uh, and they are not going to go off track. <laughs> they so won't... medical tourism is going to be an opportunity here to target the people with disabilities or other medical needs. So what, what do you see what sort of opportunities do you see with the medical tourism in Thailand? Just in your perspective. Yeah, basically the medical service that we are talking here are, are rendered by the private sector. So let's talk to the private sector of how many that you can handle mm. in which capacity, in which field. Uh, we are not talking about bringing people from elsewhere to, 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 to go to any general hospital. The general hospital at the moment, let's, let's give them a break. They have had a pretty hard five, year, five mm -hmm. months time already. Uh, let's them give a break. But for the business uh, uh, hospital that run by uh, private investment, mm -hmm. uh, talk to them and uh, see if they can, how many can they handle yeah. and in which field, then we can perhaps uh, uh, bring up some good program yeah. for them. So if you were still in charge of the Ministry of Tourism, what would be among the first thing that you, you would do? Communication. Mm -hmm. I would say communication is the key to make sure that people understand that at the moment, we, we are pretty blessed. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in many other parts of the world, people are, are, are dropping like flies. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and here we are still healthy in terms of health. But economically, let's think about that. We, we still have food, you know, mm. plenty of food. So uh, we should try to make sure that everybody get plenty to eat. If, if uh, going to school would need a, a uniform and uh, the parents cannot uh, afford a uniform, let's drop the uniform for a while. <laughs> something like that, you know, yeah. just do something that mm. makes sense. Uh, don't do things that you have been doing in the last 15 years mm. and continue to do so without changing it. Let's change anything that is need but is makes sense mm. so that people survive and they don't have to worry too much. Uh, do, do, do boys have to cut their hair? Mm. Uh, who cares at the yeah. moment? We, we, need, we need them alive first. <laughs> and we make sure that their parents do not have to pay more than they should. Okay. Yeah. So moving back to, you just mentioned about the local tourism and with all these things, would this be the trend for Thai tourism in the near future? Or is there something that we should focus a little bit more on? Uh, yes, it has been one of the trends that has been picked up by the new, newer generation. When I say new, it doesn't mean young, mm. because the gray, the, the gray hair generation are now <laughs> growing and uh, probably one of the largest group okay. uh, in this century. And, and they are more enjoying to go to see something genuine. Mm. Uh, they want to go into community, they want to uh, see the real forest. Mm. They want to be at the beach, but not to, but not not, not to party at, mm. at that kind of thing. Uh, so yes. anywhere that is not too touristic, basically, yeah. not like the exactly. real hot spots. That's that's right. Mm. So that's something that our culture is, is picking up, picking up from the local market. But yes, one must understand that the local market only bring in uh, or, or generate only one third of the income that it has mm. been do going in the industry. So it will not be enough for everyone. Mm. But it's enough in terms of the headcounts that we see people visiting here and there and with the, with the understanding that there, there can be any second wave pandemic mm. from anywhere, including from our own people. So let's do not try to discriminate one group from another. but. It's about all of the practice that you do with your discipline. Don't lift, let your guard down. Uh, make sure that you cover yourself up good enough, wash hands often, and that kind of things. The authorities, the government, of course, want to see Thai people travel more, right? Do you think Thai people have traveled enough, or do they need to travel more? No, I, I don't <laughs> think they need to, to, to do a lot of things. <laughs> they, they are going to have to do a lot of saving at, okay. at first. And, uh, only a few group of people who think that, well, being locked down uh, themselves in small room and uh, places, they want to go place, then go. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are not trying to encourage people to do things that are unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's, let, let them do things willingly. Yeah. And uh, uh, let's try to make sure that this is not about spending uh, Time mm. is about is about give everyone a, a little break okay. to make sure that we are going to be all together mm. in this long dark tube for a, for a little more while. Uh, let's have a deep breath and and then but, go. But how do you see the ongoing the, the, the tour package being promoted by the government? Yes, for I, people to travel, being subsidized for that and. and freebies for, for medical I mean, personnel. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, that's fine because it's keep people hope. Mm. It doesn't mean that when you see the poster that you have to fly every mm. time or, or you have to go place every time you see the poster. But when you see the poster that you are no longer uh, uh, under the lockdown, you feel released. Even if you don't, you, you didn't get in the car and go place, but you feel released. Yeah. Hope is the thing that you need to keep all the way before we get to the end of the other side. <laughs> So hope is the only thing we need yeah, to put, right. put exactly. us forward here. Yes, and don't forget anyone. Let's look around and see if mm. anyone in need of anything, let's help each other out. The Thailand has been very successful in dealing with the pandemic, right? It sure. has been praised by many countries all around the world. So, so what kind of image do you think that Thailand should try to project I mean, in the area of promoting tourism from now? Friendliness, the heart, and the kindness. <laughs> That's it. You don't need a, a glamorous mm. investment. You don't need a 
big view to show. Uh, views are everywhere in this world, and especially with the pandemic like this, I would uh, suppose that the turtle will probably have to turn up in any island around yeah. the world already. Yeah. So we are not unique in, in, in that at that part. But it's the heart, it's the hope, and it's the the, the mentality that we have. We look at it very positively, but we keep our guards uh, uh, in, in tight. Mm-hmm. Keep our guards high, but we keep the uniqueness of Thai right. people. So one question about the travel bubble, as you may have heard, so do you actually agree with the travel bubble that the government came up with, or is there something that they could have done more? Well, the government uh, has just explicitly said today that they would want to try to avoid the word travel bubble, mm-hmm. oh. which I can understand. But uh, talking about this thing will help us exercise our brain of what needs to be done, but don't have, don't have to commit it right okay. away. No, no need to rush. Right? You don't need to rush. Yeah. Mm. You can't rush it. Uh, and at the moment, there was, the government said that there will be only about 200 people mm. a day be allowed in from outside. Uh, well, that is, that is just a little dip of the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even a soup. Uh-huh. So don't look at it from the money perspective. Let's look at it as something to exercise our brain of, well, if those 200 coming in, or what should we do to impress them, impress us, and save everybody? I see. People are talking about how the a new mindset is needed for the future of Thai tourism. Right. So who do you think should take the, the first step? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. Well, of you, course, we need some leadership, right? Oh, yeah. Leadership is, is, is one of the uh, most important things. Yeah. And uh, at the moment, I think leadership doesn't have to involve people with the position. Mm. You don't need people with the position. Of course, it will be best if the people in position have t- taken that leadership role. But anyone can do that leadership for the society. Mm. So everyone has to play the role here to come together and then push that towards the board. Yes. Look at the, the, the tribe that just helped pull up the, the truck uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, they don't need a crane. They only need the heart. Uh, look at the, the, uh, the hearts of the people who have been keeping their elephants mm. for a long, long time. And uh, at the moment, they do not have any client, uh, but they are, going to, they are willing to do everything they can to help one another, to help the elephant. Mm. And that part of the picture, show it to the world, and people will feel, that's the thing that I would like to see. That's the thing that I would like to have a share of experience. Mm. Whenever that I can travel, I want to be with you. <laughs> and that is definitely impressive for anyone in the world here because of the uniqueness of Thai people is their smiles and how genuine they are when they help people. And that is definitely going to attract anyone more than just the landmarks or the mm-hmm. investments. Exactly. Yeah. You're right. So, so how would you do things differently if you were back in charge of tourism again? <laughs> well, I think, I think the, the industry are having hit very hard. Uh-huh. They hit first and they will be last out. Uh-huh. Uh, but they have been very well behaved. They know that they are not going to roll the dice and pull everybody, 60 million people of the Thai people, to take a risk of bringing in, open all the gates. Mm-hmm. No, they, they, they didn't ask for that. But they have been talking with hope that, hey, with travel bubble, uh, what can we do and how many can we handle? And that kind of thing, you know, yeah. at least it's good for now. Nobody knows, nobody has any great formula for anything now. Mm. Nobody yeah. knows what is right and what, what is wrong, but we need to think about it and make sure at least one thing for the industry at the moment is the soft loan. Mm. They need the soft loan. That's right. Medium, small, medium sized. Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. right. Look at uh, big airlines in the world. They are now uh, going pretty hard with the liquidity. Uh, think about the little guys yeah. running resort here, to, uh, yeah. restaurant over there. Uh, they need money, All right. but not from the client, <laughs> from the institution. That's right. That's right. With the help of the government. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely.